Welcome back to the Google My Business Setup Training Series with Avram Gonzalez. And in this video, we are on the final step of actually uploading all the media that we've gathered and optimized for your Google My Business listing. And so, if you haven't gone through the previous videos, I encourage you to go through uh, those videos first to make sure that you do all that stuff right before you actually upload your photos, videos, and other media. Okay, so here we are inside the Google My Business dashboard. If you're unsure about how to get here, just log into your Gmail account and then go to business.google.com forward slash manage. And you should come to a dashboard like this. Click on the photo section down here on the left side panel and your screen should look something like this, especially if you haven't actually updated it with any information. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're just going to follow some of the prompts here and then we're gonna fill out these individual sections here with photos as we move through this short tutorial. So the cover photo, what we're going to do is we are going to take a photo from the business here and I've got them all lined up so we can easily do this uh, at least fairly quickly. I'm going to actually take this company banner. I'm going to throw this down here. Okay, and just like that, we have our cover photo complete. Next, we are going to choose a photo to represent the business. So this can be a logo, but in this case, I think it's best to put the headshot of the company owner. That way it personifies the business, especially if you're responding to Google reviews. It shows your face rather than a company logo, which I think is highly effective. Okay, so that part is done. Video, I'm not going to actually upload a video here during this tutorial, but it would be the same thing. You just add video to this section and you can add as many as you want. Alternatively, you can actually add media straight here from the dashboard by clicking this plus icon and you can put anything that you want in here. Okay, but what you want to do is you want to actually, when you're uploading the rest of your photos, you want to delineate it by each of these different sections. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the plus icon, select interior, click on plus. Let's go find all of the, uh, the interior photos. Okay, and we're making sure that, of course, we're uploading all of the geotagged photos that we did. If you're watching this video and haven't watched the other ones, you will not know what I'm talking about when I say geotag, and you should go watch that video. So, uploading here. Just wait a moment. Okay. Come on. So you're getting the idea, right? So, all those photos are up. Go to exterior. Let's upload these photos of the exterior. We want to make sure that people recognize the building when uh, when they're coming for business. So let's throw that in here, all the exterior photos. Okay, that part's done. At work. So since this has no pictures yet, it's going to say this instead. Um, but it's the same thing. If you click on the Okay, here we go. Select all of these, put this up here. These are some bigger files, so it might take a moment for these to upload. But you get the idea, you wanna go through and upload each of the individual sections and then any extra stuff, you can just go to the main overview section and upload stuff there. One of the areas that we don't have a lot for yet is team are waiting on some team photos here. Uh, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're going to do, I saved this other photo um, of Tony here for this section. So instead of just the cropped head shot, we have the full torso and up shot. And then we'll add in photos of like his developer and uh, some of his other team members, okay? And then so identity, this part is already done. It's already filled out. We did that on the front page. Like I said before, videos, uh, we don't have a video right now to upload, but you would do the same thing here. And then for 360 video and photo, what I would suggest doing is actually 
uploading it straight from the Google Street View app. Rather than doing it from here, it'll go a lot faster, especially if you're trying to get the photos off of the camera and and upload it here. You can just eliminate that whole entire step and you can just put it through um, you know, using the Google Street View app. So that's what I would suggest and, and that concludes really the the uploading portion of this section. So you went through all the steps, everything was optimized. You know, ultimately we want a few more photos. Uh, like I said before, 20 to 30, I think we have 18 here. So we're looking for a few more, maybe those teammates sections and then the videos and we will be all set here. Okay, so that is a wrap on the how to set up a Google My Business listing, at least optimize it the best way possible. And if you want the advanced training where we go into the nitty gritty, we do over the shoulder of every single decision that I make from start to finish of you know the keyword research, choosing photos, teaching you what kind of equipment to buy or to rent or who to hire to help you with this stuff. All of that and more, you can find the details in the description below this video. I think that will be extremely helpful in you really getting the most bang for your buck out of the time, energy, and effort spent putting together a properly configured Google My Business listing. It's one of the fastest ways to get a return on investment using Google and SEO type strategies and I couldn't recommend it more for the savvy business owner who wants to get more exposure online. Just do this process and look at your before and after okay and you'll be blown away by how many more people are finding your business as a result of actually doing this process. So thank you for watching Go ahead and check out the advanced training if you desire in the comments, uh, sorry, in the description below this video, and we'll catch you in a future video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my video. If you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content they're publishing every single day. I'll see you on the next video.